look at all these matokes and by the way i believe in my heart the matoke we have here at maragoli are the best so i'm happy my guku sent some to me yay as I mentioned last year on my Instagram stories, the matoke I really enjoy having comes from a Goku's shamba. My Goku all the way in Western province has the best matoke and in my opinion, the taste is a lot richer and a lot more delicious. Today, the craving has kicked in and that means a new recipe for you guys as well. And for today, we are going to make my thyme and tandoori masala matoke. Kama kawaida, we never do basic here at Kaluhi's Kitchen and I know without doubt you are going to enjoy this recipe just as much you just as much as you enjoy all my other recipes welcome to my kitchen and karibuni sana to my channel I always start my cooking with a pan that has some oil and some salt and now we're going to go in with our first ingredients all pressed and for that I chose to use some dania stem and some red onion you can use any kind of onion you have and also remember I mentioned in my Gideri video and I always mention this on Twitter dania stems always add a lot more character to your meal always use the stems because they can take up the intense heat for the initial cooking stage very very well and they also infuse into the oil making the overall dish very very delicious so kumbukeni hiyo We're now then going to allow our onions and the near stems to saute for a few minutes until softened and fragrant. Next, we're going to add our pureed tomatoes, mix them in and then follow this by our three spices and for that I chose to use black pepper, dried thyme and the star of the day, my tandoori masala. We'll then add some hot water, mix them in and then allow the spices and the tomatoes to simmer for a few minutes to facilitate the melding of flavors. Ah, guys, my kitchen smells like paradise. Oh my goodness. And I know without doubt, this is going to be a delicious meal. <laughs> Tandoori masala is one of my favorite masala blends. I love it so much because it has all the amazing bold and full-bodied spices. Ginger, garlic, cumin, fenugreek, coriander, curry, turmeric. Like there are so many. I can't even mention all of them right here, right now. But you can look it up online. Tandoori masala is excellent with meat dishes. It's so, so good as a chicken marinade. It's also so beautiful when rubbed over your fish before grilling and it's also excellent for a lamb stew as well as a beef stew. But you know what? Kaluhi does what she wants. And today Kaluhi decided tandoori masala will go into her matoke. Most of the spices that are found in tandoori masala can be used individually as part of your matoke but I decided today instead of using like five separate spices let me use just one that has all the flavor profile I'm, I'm looking for for this particular dish. Don't forget I always buy all my spices in our local supermarket and guys please 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 Tembeeni in the supermarket spice aisles. Just walk through and see what's there, even if you're not buying. Just see, maybe to budget, maybe to get a feel of what's available. And yes, every single thing I use is available in any well-stocked supermarket. Sisemi wende kwa mama Joni. Okay, you know buy na mama Joni, but go to a well-stocked supermarket so that you can get everything I cook with. Power. Okay. <laughs> I just decided on a whim to add a tiny bit of tomato paste just so that my tomatoes can have a richer color and a lot more thickness. I unfortunately did not realize my phone was not recording but I will include that tiny detail in the blog post um, whose link you can find the description box. By now you guys know the drill. Now that this is simmering and thickening, we're going to grab our matoke 
I already peeled mine and I put them in some, some water so that they don't oxidize. If you peel them and leave them in the air, they'll turn a bit gray and that's what I refer to as oxidation. However, if they oxidize a tiny bit, it's sour, but does it a liquor too. Today, since I'm alone, I only peeled four and uh, that's what I'm going to have for lunch. So now I'm going to drain my water, then add my sliced matoke into my sufuria, followed by some water, mix them in and then cover with a lid so that they cook for about 15 minutes. As this simmers, let me briefly mention the difference between matoke and plantain. Matoke and plantain are in the same banana family, however, they are vastly different, both in appearance, texture and taste. Matoke, commonly found here in Kenya, they are a lot shorter. On the surface, they are less tapered and when you go in the interior, they are a lot touchier and less sweet. Plantain, in contrast, they are a lot longer. On the surface, they are very tapered and they grow a lot more curved. <laughs> and in the interior, they are a lot softer and much sweeter. Because of the nature of matoke, they are much delicious stewed and because of the nature of plantain, they are much delicious fried. And I love mine fried in coconut oil. Mm, tamusana. <laughs> now that this shasha, we let it simmer for about 15 minutes. For me, I'm going to clear my sink. And for you, I want you to go down, down, down there and subscribe if you're here to. It's free, you won't be charged. And I'd love to have you as part of K Nation. So, uh, please subscribe. For me, Atanyosha Biombo. I mentioned in one of my recent videos that Gizeri is among my top Kenyan vegetarian meals and on that same list I have to include matoke. I love my matoke. There are so many recipes on the blog. Now to Mongeze are here and you know what? There's no limit as to how many times or how many methods you're going to cook matoke. Let's give this one a taste. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. There's something there's something quite particular about the taste of the matoke that comes from a Gukus shamba. I don't know what it is, but it's extremely full-bodied. And that exact quality is rounded up by the tandoori masala and brought to life in the most beautiful way. The taste of the thyme, together with that of the dania, really goes hand in hand. And overall, this is a very beautiful dish. And I can't wait for you guys to try out this recipe because I know you're never going to get over it because it's so damn delicious. For me, it's not lunchtime. Time to go eat. I hope you enjoyed this video so, so much. See you on my next one. And thank you so much for being part of K Nation. Bye.